Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation. This is Forest Stories. I am the poet in the forest, a children's series that I pinned out in the 1990s. Now, none of it would be possible if it wasn't for this forest right here in South Charlotte, North Carolina. I talk about it so much that I thought maybe it's time that you get to know what has inspired me for 30 years. Thanks for being a part of the conversation. Welcome back to the forest. The birds inside this forest. I'm on this path pretty far from the house right now. But I'm just listening to the morning doves with their soft cooing. There are two woodpeckers out here. I know what they're doing. You know, there's bugs in there. There's nutrients. It's how they survive. But the sound of that rat-a-tat-tat-tat-tat, rat-a-tat-tat-tat-tat, it's life to me in this forest. It's very, very natural. And even the sound of the little sparrows, they get inside your head and heart. And you're taught lessons. The lessons of... Why, human, do you find yourself more indoors than outdoors? When being out here, you could actually listen to the flow of the stream and not just think it's slow moving and moving to a gigantic lake. But hearing how birds work is amazing to me inside this forest. Just up the path here, maybe about 300 feet, is a gentleman who is a bee farmer. I love it when he comes up to me every year, and it's not that he forgets. He knows what he's doing. He will look at me in the eyes and say, how's that apple tree? Apple tree is looking good, sir. I'm waiting for some blossoms right now. You're welcome. And you know, the first time that I heard him say that, I didn't understand what he was saying. But in this forest, he knows that his bees are coming into my part of the world of this forest, and it's giving me the flowers. And my God, when when those trees start to blossom later on with the flowers, you're going to sit there and you're going to wonder, how is this even possible? Okay, I'm going to credit the man who has the honeybees. And by the way, usually in the very early days of the fall, his honey's up for sale. Yeah, right here in this forest. And he markets it to so many people. So much life. The birds today. The cooing of the dove. The woodpecker just hammering his head. Man, if it were me, I would have broke my nose off the first time. Hey, thanks for being a part of the conversation.